Well, we've got the battery here, and obviously the charger there. And we set the meter to volts DC, yeah, DC. Two straight lines, well, one straight line and one dotted line. Just make sure you can see that. Yep. So on this one, it's marked. If you have a look, it's marked negative. Sorry, positive there, negative here. So the two end ones on this one. So I'm just going to put the leads in. And there you go, 56.7 volts. So that's fully charged. It's a brand new battery as well, this is. When I first got it, I put them on and there was no reading. I plugged it into the bike for about two minutes and uh, it came to life. I think it might have a low a low voltage cutout at 14. It just shuts itself off to protect itself. If you reverse the leads on this, you get a little line there which tells you that you've got your Obviously your positive is your negative and you, you swap them around. So it tells you which ones are the positive and which ones are negative. If you were wrong, you'd get that light, that line. That's useful that is, so you know it's one's positive and negative. Right, we'll charge the charger lead. Try the charger lead. There's the charger. Obviously this is the lead. End. Or the connector. So I'm going to put one on the outside, and one inside. There you go, 63 volts, and there's no line, so I know that that's the positive and that's the negative. If you had them wrong, it'd tell you with that line that you've wrong. So. Internally is positive, externally is negative. The 64 volts, so I know it's working fine. That's it, easy test.